the sequel to one of the greatest horror films all of all time. What an absolutely underwhelming sequel. Ugh. Not having John Carpenter directing definitely shows here. But his presence as producer and composer is still felt and that does elevate the film from being worse than it is. The pacing of this one is an absolute slog though. This film could have been less than an hour I think. I was bored out of my mind for most of it. It honestly, I think you could edit this into a 30 minute epilogue you add on to the end of the first Halloween film. I don't mean that to be insulting to the people that made the movie, but come on, there's just, it's obvious when you're trying to stretch things out to get to an 85 or 90 minute movie. There are moments of brilliance. I like the sibling twist. I think that's what Halloween is known for. I even knew about that growing up not having seen these. It makes sense and it gave the series a big direction later. I like the hints at the pagan rituals being behind Michael, such as Sam Hain, that set the foundation for Halloween's four through six later on. And I appreciate those roots here. That doesn't make the film forgiven and for all of its other flaws in my eyes, but it does help. Stalking people throughout the dark hospital through the night is really effective in parts. And of course, Dr. Loomis is great as always. Donald Pleasance is a master actor, except he casually gets a kid killed and they just gloss over that. That bugged me and that scene should have been cut from the film. Jamie Lee Curtis had like 10 lines and she's unconscious for most of the movie. The final showdown here is pretty suitably epic though. This really could have been the end of the Halloween movies. I appreciate a lot of the ones that came later. I also dislike a lot of the ones that came later, but they kind of wrap everything up here and Michael being burned to death, burned down to nothing is a very smart way of getting rid of him and what can escape that? What can extinguish evil except for the hellfire of where it belongs, right? I like that thematic element. And then Halloween could have been the anthology series it was strive for, except the Michael Myers saga was a two-parter. We get Halloween 3 season of The Witch Next, which continued that tradition, but people don't want that. And that's unfortunate because I think John Carpenter had a lot of ideas that I've read for other Halloween anthology movies that I don't know if we'll ever see one day. I hope that they get made. I hope they bring that idea back after Halloween ends is over because that's a great concept. But again, I just can't help but feel this could have been shaved way down and added to the end of Halloween long one like we talked about or for an ultimate extended cut. That being said, I feel like this one's also overhyped and those that claim it's better than the original I think are a little bit crazy even if I can respect their opinion. I give Halloween 2, 2.5 out of five stars. What is your favorite Halloween movie? Do you like Halloween 2? What's your ranking? How is my ranking so far to yours? What do you? What would you score it? While you do, and you comment below, smash that like button, follow me on Letterboxd, and subscribe to my channel. And remember, always look for the good.